Hey everybody! So in this video, I'm going to be doing a product review and I want to say that this is sponsored by Mango because they did pay for this product to be sent to me so I didn't pay for anything. I got this for free. They wanted me to share my um, real opinion on this item and I'm really excited because it has to do with lights. So the item is called Submersive LED Light and I had gotten it through Amazon and I'll make sure to put the link down below so after you see this review and see what I have to say you can decide for yourself if you want to invest in this item so in order to make sure that you use this product to the best that you can um, I'm gonna give you some tips that they told me to cover in this video so if you see me looking down it's because I'm looking at my phone to make sure that I hit all the points that they want me to hit um, so you can have the best experience with this product so the first thing is to make sure that um, when you close it there's like this kind of like opaque um, white plastic ring around make sure that is in place because that will help to prevent kind of like the water coming in because again this is a light that you can use underwater and make sure that you close it tightly also make sure that you wipe down the threads so basically the threads are what you see here when you're sealing it it helps to like seal the product sorry guys camera is not catching it but yeah so these are what you call threads so make sure that you wipe them down after you use it underwater because that would prevent water going into the different electrical components. The third thing is um, you can use rechargeable batteries but make sure that they're all the same type of batteries as well as you don't mix used and newly charged batteries so make sure that they're all newly charged before you put them in. Same thing goes with um, when you use regular batteries make sure that they're all new batteries and you don't mix with the, the old with the new. And then when the battery runs out, this will, um, the light will turn or get stuck on red and that kind of lets you know that you need to change the batteries. Last but not least, also um, make sure that you don't leave the batteries inside the component. Make sure that you just take it out because the product ends up using um, kind of like standby consumption of the energy from the batteries. I'm really excited to use this product. So again, um, this box comes with um, two of these. So, sorry, two of these. And it comes with um, suction cups. So you can stick it on the side like in your pool. Um, you can put it in a jack-o-lantern. You can put it, um, at, you can use it as a nightlight or you can use it to give off like um, Cool vibes if you have like a party or something there's different ways that you can use um, these lights and you can probably think of more things than I can right now and then each light comes with a controller and these controllers have um, already a battery inside them but um, this one the component where it comes with like you need double a batteries so you need three of them for each of these lights so I'm just gonna quickly put it in and then um, I'm going to just show you the different light functions. I'm going to show you how it looks like when it's um, in the dark and then also when it's submerged in water, if I hadn't said that yet. But anyways, I'm going to change it to the top down view so you can actually see it in action. So as you can see, this is how it looks like in the box. So the other component I haven't opened and I haven't tried it out or anything. I haven't put batteries inside. Um, but the one with batteries, um, there is a controller. So you have the on and off switch. So on and then off. So right now it's on red. I can't remember, I already tried it. Sorry, I didn't press hard enough. Um, yeah, definitely make sure that you press hard. And I have tried it out before, but not submerged in water or in the darkness. I had just tried it, um, just putting in the battery. So you can increase the light, how bright it is. You can kind of see the glow is a little bit dimming right now. Yeah. And then um, you can set it for how long you want the light to last. So it can be a half hour, an hour, two hours, or three hours. And then of course you can switch through the colors. So we have red, green, purple, pink, or magenta, yellow, blue, and then white. 
and then um, you can have different um, settings of how the light flickers so there's the strobe effect and it cycles through the different colors there is spark I kind of like how this one looks like um, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like how the emergency light looks like when on your car and then you have flash so it just flashes um, different colors and then you have breathe so it kind of like changes through the colors like fades in fades out and then for this one it's crossfade so it's the same concept but you continuously see like colors like the colors changing in comparison to breathe which kind of like has like a little pause of no light a little bit and then changes into the other colors so I definitely like all these different settings um, so I'm going to try to put batteries into this one and see if this one works okay so I just got new batteries so again I haven't tested this one out but just want to show you how it looks like when you first get it so they're each wrapped in bubble wrap then you just um, peel off this little plastic covering they also have a plastic covering on the remote controls so you just peel that off so then you turn it and then this is how it looks like you just put the batteries in here um, corresponding to the different positive and negative sides So it's already on, oops, my bad, and um, it is set on red, so I'm wondering um, if I can use this controller on here. Cool. So <laughs> now both of them are on, and I'm just going to cycle through all of the different colors just to see how it looks like. So I guess you can use um, both controllers, so if they're in the same range, you can um, have them be used on one controller. But if they were put in different areas, like one was in a pumpkin and the other one was lighting up the backyard, then that's why it's good to have these two controllers um, to help with the lighting. So let's just see if this one works by turning it off. So there's like a little tab. So this is to prevent the battery connecting to the different like component, the metal component in there. So now that I took this off, now the controller should work. So I'm just gonna turn these off. So yeah, it looks like it's working. So let me just turn it on and cycle through the colors again, just to make sure that the controller works and it looks like it is. They're on different like color systems, so that's why they're flashing different lights. So that's pretty cool. Just seeing how it looks like together. So just imagine like having multiple of these like around your pole. Like I don't have a pole, but this looks pretty cool. It's actually pretty exciting. <laughs> so I'm gonna try submerging these in water just to see like how they look like, as well as putting them in a dark space so you can see how that looks like too. Okay, so I have a bowl of water. And I'm going to submerge both of these, but before I get to that, I'm going to make sure that they're sealed tightly. And I forgot to mention that um, these also have magnets um, behind on the back of them, so you can um, attach it to metal too. So they're both in the water. I'm going to leave them a little bit submerged for a bit. And then gonna use the controller. So turning them on. Okay. <laughs> One had a delayed reaction to being turned on. So I'm gonna cycle through the colors again. So red, green, purple, pink, yellow, blue, white. And then again you have strobe. That looks pretty cool underwater. Um, you have spark, then flash, breathe, and 
then crossfade. So yeah, it definitely looks pretty awesome underwater. Now I wish that I had a pool. Um, so I'm going to take these out, I'm going to wipe them, and I'm going to put them inside of something so you can see how the colors pop from being inside of something and illuminating that. Okay, so I'm back, and um, I don't have a jack-o'-lantern, but I do have this balloon popcorn bucket from Disneyland. And currently it's holding my hand sanitizer, but I'm going to just put the light in there just so you can see it and just pretend this is a jack-o'-lantern so you know how it looks like if there was a light inside. So, just going to put it in the back. And then I'm going to turn it on. So you can kind of see the light coming out. Let's do it with purple. Nope. There you go. There you go. You can see it. So that's strobe. Let's see. There you go. I think that fits better with this spark. So if you want to put it into something, you can use spark and it will cycle through all the different colors. So that looks pretty cool. So last but not least, I'm going to show it in the dark. I know it doesn't look as dark as it should be, but I'm filming it inside the box and it's still kind of light. But um, here's how it looks like when they're on. And then cycle through the colors again. Yeah, these are actually pretty cool and I'm excited to use them. I'm trying to figure out when to use them and I just realized this one was backwards. <laughs> so that's why that one wasn't working. There you go. Now it's on. Um, but yeah, so the I just realized that the magnets attract each other. So yeah, you can, the magnets are definitely really strong. And again, um, you have like suction cups to use as well to attach it to things. But yeah. Um, Really excited to use these. These are pretty fun to play with. So yeah, um, that's my experience with the lights. Um, as you can see, you have multiple ways of using these lights. You can um, use them <laughs> in your closet. You can use them in your garage, in the pool, um, in the bathtub to make it fun for your kids if you want to. There's definitely a lot of possibilities that you can use these lights, especially it um, has a magnetic function as well as being able to be um, utilized with these suction cups. So yeah, definitely have enjoyed using these lights and giving them a try over this video. Um, so yeah, it's definitely up to you if you want to invest in these. No pressure at all, but that is my honest review on these items and I'm super excited that um, Mango gave me a chance to review these. So definitely check out the link down below so you can get yourself a pair of these or even multiples of these if you give it a try yourself. Um, I can't really say how they will be in the long run, but I think as long as you take good care of them, make sure that you take out the batteries, also wipe them down after you submerge them in water, they should be um, able to last for a while. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure that you click the like button. Also make sure that you um, follow me on my different social media accounts. They're going to be linked in the description below. Um, again, check out the link on Amazon to see um, if you're interested in this product. And the link, I forgot to mention, um, I don't get anything from this link. It's literally just the link to the listing on Amazon. So yeah, I only had um, these items paid for me, nothing else. I'm not going to get anything else if you buy from um, the product link. And last but not least, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!